today I'm looking at upgrading a HP Notebook 15-AB168CA and I haven't actually gotten to take a look at the system board yet so I'm going to take a look at that now and see what kind of upgrades are possible. So first thing I'll start with is taking out the battery and then removing all the screws off the back panel with a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm going to take a quick look at this screw just because it looks like it's a little chewed up so I'll be right back. Alright so it looks like somebody might have tried to remove the screw before but chewed it up a little bit maybe with the wrong, uh, wrong bit. So I'm going to start taking the top panel off and we'll see if we can get around this or if there's a different way for me to take it off. So we'll flip it around and we'll start scoring the, the side of the palm rest with a nice thick guitar pick and we'll get to taking this off. All right, so far so good. Just really need to try to get that screw. So I'm gonna pause the video and just try to figure that out for a little bit and I'll report back what I find. All right, so one thing I'm gonna try for this strip screw is um, the smallest bit from my Mastercraft micro, micro grab it bit set and that is a damaged bolt extractor. In case you're curious, this is what some of the instructions look like. And I haven't used a set too, too much, or we had to luckily, but if you do, if you're interested, they're fairly inexpensive. So this isn't a guaranteed fix, but we'll give it a shot. So you wanna pick the smallest bit and set your drill to reverse and I'll link to a video in the uh, description below that really describes this a lot better. I'm just going to give it a shot. Beauty. Looks like it worked. So just for clarification, um, always remember to keep your drill in reverse and I'm going to focus in on the tiny bit here. Okay, one moment. Bear with me. There we go. So you want to start with the side that looks a little bit more like a conventional drill bit. Put your drill in reverse, press lightly, and just try to slowly edge the broken screw out, the strip screw out. If that doesn't work, you can turn it around and there's another edge that you can try. Um, again, I'll link to a really handy video that I watched uh, over a year and a half ago, I believe, that led me to buy this set in the first place and it's come in handy in quite a few situations. So anyway, it worked. We have the screw out 
And I'm just gonna end up tossing this out. I'll try to focus in and just give you an idea of what I was working with. Okay, you can see this. It was pretty well just rounded right off. I think somebody else was um, trying to service this machine and maybe strip the screw by accident. So anyway, now we can resume taking off the palm rest. So I found when I was scoring along the palm rest that I was getting a little bit of resistance. And sometimes it means that I missed a couple screws. So I turned the notebook back around and I'm guessing that there are probably a couple screws underneath these two little stickers here. So I'll take my little tiny flathead screwdriver and see if we can peel those off. Okay, I just had to pause and grab my even tinier flathead screwdriver, the smallest one I have. Because I don't want to leave a lot of damage and scrape marks. There is indeed a screw underneath. That's probably connecting directly to the board. Now the last thing I'm wondering is if there's any screws underneath this little rubber strip right here. Um, but I guess we'll find out. And actually it doesn't look like it because it looks like our uh, palm rest is coming right off. Alright, so I'm still feeling a slight bit of resistance and um, again, I haven't looked up any other videos or any other tutorials on how to take this apart. Um, I've taken apart enough uh, Notebook 15s, I think, to get an idea. Sometimes there's missing screws under these uh, little plastic bezels. So I loosened this off and we'll take a look. I already loosened it a little bit. We've taken the screws out already. Looks like there's one screw. I bet there's one on this side too. Yeah. So we'll take those out and we'll see if it's any easier to take off. So we clearly have all the screws taken out. Now we get a closer look at the system board. And I know that this has a one terabyte hard drive, um, eight gigabytes of RAM, it looks like it's just one stick. So there's some upgrade opportunities there. Um, and unfortunately, I was hoping there would be uh, an extra SSD slot, but it doesn't look like there is, so that's okay. I'm probably going to install a 2.5 inch SSD in place of the hard drive. Cool. I'm going to pause the video and just take a closer look here. All right. So before I replace the hard drive, I'm just going to, I noticed the fan's a little bit dirty. Um, so I'm going to take uh, some Q-tips and some isopropyl alcohol and just clean up some of the dust. So now we are ready to install the SSD. All right, now it's time to replace the hard drive with the solid state drive. And it looks like you just have to pull it apart from the uh, SATA port here. Mm, yeah. Kind of uh, held in with these this rubber caddy. Okay, no screws. That's kind of cool. Okay. 
Grab the solid state drive. So unfortunately all I have to install is a 128 gigabyte Toshiba solid state drive as per usual, but maybe sometime in the future something larger can go in this. Uh, maybe even set up dual storage one day and uh, put another RAM chip in, that'd be kind of exciting. So let's see if these little rubber bumpers fit. Cool. Yes, they do. Kind of. Good enough. So there's a little ribbon cable here. The little bit of adhesive. And that's connected to the motherboard. So I wouldn't pull on it too hard. All right, it's pretty easy. It fits nice and snug in that spot. Cool. So now before I put the back cover back on, we're just gonna do a quick little boot test. And I'll stick uh, my bootable Windows 10 into the USB and we'll just make sure we can at least boot the BIOS before we do anything else. Okay, give it some power. Awesome. Find one of these USB ports. Here we go. Here's one. And let's just make sure it works okay. So, oh, that's a little hard to see. So, just to verify here, probably cut out that last part, but you can just see that we did boot to BIOS. So I'm going to load up uh, Windows 10 and uh, then put the back cover back on. Okay, so now that we confirm that my, or that the solid state drive is recognized by the system, we can now put the back panel back on and then we'll resume starting Windows. So this will just be demonstrating the exact opposite of taking it apart. No, now it's time to plug this thing in and install Windows 10. All right, so I'll plug in. We've got our Windows 10 boot drive. And we hit escape to get boot options. So we hit F9. Select the hard drive. And for some reason, uh, this popped up before when I tested it. And I'm not too sure why all these lines come on the screen, but they do go away. Just in case this is um, you installing right now. Um, 
I don't think there's any cause for concern. All right, so now we're at this stage. And typically I like to do my uh, disc partition routine, which I will film here just to demonstrate. And this is just to ensure that the drive that I'm st installing Windows on is completely wiped. So you have to hit Shift F10, type in D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, hit Enter, List Disk, and let's get a little bit closer there. There we go. So disk zero is our solid state drive. So we want to type select disk zero, type clean. Once that's done, you can type exit, exit to uh, exit command prompt, and then we'll hit refresh. All right, we'll hit next and start installing Windows. And we'll check back in once everything's good to go. Okay, so we have Windows booted up and it's look, looking like it's working just fine. So I'm just going to um, eject my USB port, my USB stick rather. Okay, close file manager. And as per usual, run some updates. So once we're all done with this, we'll come back and test the device out and just make sure everything's working okay. So all updates are installed and Windows seems to be running really well. Let's give it a quick boot test. Cool. When do you become a collector? When you have more than two or more than one? Or more than three? Is it more than three? Then I'm barely a... It's really fast and really responsive. This is a beautiful house, my man. How many square... So all I have to do is... Um or all I have installed right now is Chrome. Um, there's no other real software to test out at the moment. But I can rest assured that this laptop is all complete. The SSD is working well. Um, system seems to be running perfectly fine. That's how you install an SSD into this model of HP Notebook 15. So I hope you learned something and hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching.